Today's episode is proudly brought to you by the Reading and Writing Podcast. If you enjoy reading and novels like I do, I bet you've thought about writing your own novel or short stories. You can listen to the Reading and Writing Podcast today to learn tips and tricks from best-selling writers on how you can write your own novel or short story. Listen to more than 575 episodes featuring interviews with many best-selling writers, Dean Koontz, Sandra Brown, Delilah S. Dawson, Jeffrey Deaver, and many, many more, explaining how you can write the story or novel that you've always wanted to write. Search Reading and Writing Podcast on your favorite podcast app today. Hello, friends. It's Amber here. We're currently on hiatus, so while we're away, let's take some time to rewind the clock and revisit the episode that started it all, our discussion of The Foxhole Court by Nora Sakovic, from June 26, 2020. Before we roll the tape, there are a few things we should let you know at the top of our show. Firstly, as this was our very first episode that we ever recorded, the audio quality will most likely be, shall we say, not great. We're still learning the audio editing thing as we go, but we've tried our best to make the episode sound at least a little bit better than the original. Secondly, you might hear announcements at the end of the episode that will be outdated by the time you hear them. We still highly encourage you to join our social media pages and subscribe to our Patreon, so please check out the show notes for all the links you need. I think that's all for now, so please, Let's get this started, shall we? Without further ado, we hope you'll sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Entry 1 June 26, 2020 Hello all, and welcome to the very first page of the Book Nerd Diaries, the audio journey of a bookworm through a never-ending to-read list. My name is Amber, and as you might have guessed, I am the aforementioned bookworm. For as long as I can remember, the stories found in the pages of books have been the guide by which I navigate this messy journey called life. But unfortunately, there are so many wonderful books coming out all the time, it's almost impossible to keep up with all of them. Because of this, I've started this little podcast as an excuse to cross some titles off my list. So without further ado, let's get started, shall we? The first book that I'm going to be covering today is called The Foxhole Court, which is the first book in the All for the Game series by Nora Sakovic. I originally picked this book because this series regularly came up on my social media feeds among many other young adult series I already left. This huge level of hype over time became such that it was nearly impossible to avoid it anymore. Along with this, the name of the fictional sport featured in the book, Exe, let the story a sci-fi futuristic tone that deeply intrigued me paired with a sense of dark academia that set it apart from most other sports stories. The story follows Neil Jostin, a boy endlessly on the run from the reputation and blood-soaked clutches of his father, a notorious crime boss known simply as the Butcher. His life in hiding, however, is suddenly interrupted when he finds himself recruited to the ranks of the Palmetto State University Foxes, one of America's most famous college exe teams. There he is forced to juggle college life, his team's vigorous training schedule and off-court issues, and the ever-present threat of his dangerous family past coming back to haunt him in the wake of his newfound fame. What surprised me about this book was how stark and grounded in the modern world this book is. For some reason, Exe, the name of the sport featured in this book, suggested a futuristic tone, but beyond the sport's existence, there is really no difference between the world in this story and ours. Also, I was, for some reason, not expecting how blatant this book was about the dark sides of sports itself and how its effect on the players. I don't want to give away any spoilers for the book in case you'd like to eventually read it for yourself, so I've decided to give you three highlights of the book that I think might interest you. Number one, the sport of XC. I don't fully understand its origin or really how it's played, as the rules for the game itself aren't really covered all that much in the book beyond the presence of goals and a lacrosse or hockey-style stick. But nonetheless, the name of the sport alone is enough to somehow make me want to learn more about it, despite my utter cluelessness when it comes to sports. 
If this game existed in real life, I'd certainly watch it casually on TV for a while, if not follow it. Number two, the suspense. Our protagonist, Neil Justin, is constantly in fear of his murderer father finding him, or his taxi teammates discovering his past. As a result, you can feel his overwhelming anxiety and suspicion of everyone on every single page, and you can't help but fear for him every single second. The third highlight of this book that I would like to bring to your attention is the drama. A lot of sports stories are about a group of bright-eyed, ragtag young athletes finding family in each other and banding together in the 11th hour to overcome seemingly insurmountable odds. Fists and trophies raised in triumph as the proverbial screen fades to black. The Foxhole Court, however, is certainly not that kind of story. Though I haven't had the opportunity to read either of the following installments in the All for the Game series, this first book shows us a team in the Palmetto State University Foxes that all have their own darkness and vices that ultimately keep them divided and eternally suspicious of each other. This is particularly evident in their treatment of new team member Neil, who is subject to all forms of awful hazing at the hands of his veteran teammates. As this story deals with some truly dark subject matter, please check the content warnings on this episode's show notes before reading. You're now headed into the second half of our episode, so please join us for more Book Nerd Diaries after this quick break. And we're back, everyone. Now that we've talked a bit about the book, I thought we'd go to a little segment called the Trivia Corner, where I give you a random trivia question about a topic that has to do with the book. Since sports deal so heavily in this book, I thought I'd give you a question not about XC, but about football. Ready? Your question is, which NFL team won the very first Super Bowl? Was it A, the Green Bay Packers? B, the Kansas City Chiefs, or C, the New England Patriots? The answer is A, the Green Bay Packers. Though not officially called the Super Bowl until later, the game held on January 15, 1967 between the Green Bay Packers and the Kansas City Chiefs marked the first meeting of the AFC and NFC divisions. That comes from History.com. This marks the end of our episode, everyone, but before I go, I'd like to leave you all with a listener question. Ready? Your question for this episode is, who is your favorite protagonist from a book? Personally, I would have to say that my favorite is Bilbo Baggins from The Hobbit, because he's a rare hero in fiction who would most likely have been relegated as a sidekick in any other media. He doesn't have a great destiny, nor does he have any desire for wealth or power. At the end of the day, he's just a man who wants to go home. If you'd like to share your answer to be featured in a future episode, please send us an email at bndpod at gmail.com. Again, that's bndpod at gmail.com. We'd love to hear from you. The Book Nerd Diaries is written, edited, researched, and hosted by Amber Wilchin. Thank you to Kevin McLeod for the use of our intro and outro music, The Show Must Be Go. Sincerely yours and unsplashed via Anchor for our wonderful cover art. And a special thank you to Nora Sakovic, the author of this episode's book, The Fox Hole Court. If you'd like, please subscribe to us on Spotify, iTunes, or wherever podcasts are found so you can find new episodes as they air. Please leave a review or comment when you can, or share this show with the book lovers in your life to help spread the word. Every little bit helps. If you'd like to connect with us online, please look for us on Twitter at BNDPod, Facebook at Bookner Diaries, or email us at BNDPod at gmail.com. Any comments, questions, or book suggestions you may have for us are always welcome. I'm going to be aiming to post new regular episodes every other week, but please keep an eye on this feed next week for a special bonus. Until then, thank you so much for listening, everyone. It truly means a lot. Please take care of each other, and don't forget to support your local library.